All right, guys, we're out here. Day one, FLW Tour, Lake Seminole, about to get things kicked off. We're about 124 today. Be back in at 4 o'clock. Sure hope these offshore fish bite. But if they don't, just run to the bank, go do our thing, go catch us up 10, 12 pounds, get it done. Hope you all enjoy this. Talk to you this afternoon, hopefully with a big old bag of fish. Later. So I immediately start the morning off out on the flats, throwing just that, that uh, bass addiction stickster worm, humming it around, no bites. Uh, things were going pretty bad to start the day. And then I look down and I have some chip ceramic on the end of uh, one of my rods. So I have to sit down first thing in the morning, start switching rods or pulling reels off and putting it on a different rod the whole time, watching freaking Chad Griggs being Terry Bolton, put fish after fish in the boat. Uh, just not how you want to start the day, but hey, that's what fishing's all about, just adapting to adversity, rolling on, and getting things done. So I catch these two fish there in Spring Creek and it's like 10.30 right now. I only have two fish in the boat. I'm watching other guys catch them all morning. Pull up the trolling motor. It's time to go over to uh, Fish Drain. Had a little deep spot where I caught that six pounder in practice. Um, hoping I can just go over there and make something different happen. I get over there and I start dragging, doing my thing. I'm just like, yeah, I can't get a bite, can't get a bite. Talk to a guy, he has like 16 and a half pounds. So I'm like, screw it. I'm going to the bank, burning up the bank with a swim jig. Back out to the deep hole. I come out, guy's culling. So I know he has 16 and a half pounds and he's culling. So he must be going like three pounders. I'm still sitting on two right now, guys. And it's like noon. So I'm super spun out at this point, guys. It's like 12.30, I'm sitting on two freaking fish. I need a bite. So I'll run back over to Spring Creek, pick up a wacky worm. I'm like, surely to goodness, I can get me three more fish. Start out on the flats, see what I can do. So the flats were terrible. Never had a bite out there. Worked my way up to these reeds. And I finally, finally got a clue what I needed to be doing the rest of the day. So that was it. I culled once, maybe twice that day, and uh, I was hoping to get a bigger bite, stayed out on the flats, but it didn't happen. All right, guys, we're about to get day two kicked off down here at FLW Tour on Seminole. Yesterday had uh, 815, which honestly, I was a little better off than I figured. I figured I'd be like 140th, 150th, something like that. 85th, just to go, just goes to show you exactly how tough it is. My buddy caught one fish for three pounds, and he's only in like 130th, which is, I mean, it's not good, but that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
So hopefully uh, go out and catch us. I'd like to catch, you know, 14, 15 pounds, obviously, and get paid. They're around. I mean, I, I saw them all day yesterday. Just couldn't catch them. They're super, super finicky. But last night was warmer. Um, so hopefully maybe a few fish moved up. They'd be in a little better mood today, a little more likely to bite. Um, the good news is the thing I'm most excited about is we can actually see when we're running this morning. That was so sketchy yesterday morning. So got my Marshall David with me. What do you think, man? I think we're going to catch him. We're going to catch him. I think we're going to catch him. I like that. See, I like the positivity. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoy it. We're going to go do our best. If we can't sack up a big bag today, tote them up, bring them back, get paid. Later. So the game plan for day two, guys, I'm in freaking survival mode right now. You know, coming in this tournament, I was in 38th in points, and so I'm just really trying not to screw that up. I start out on the flats again. As I'm putting that wacky rig in my hand, I'm throwing it all day long. I'm going to catch me like 10 pounds, put it on the trailer, go home, safe. So at this point, I've had a pretty killer day. I mean, I've caught a bunch of fish, but I'm still, I'm sitting, I know I'm like hovering around 10 pounds. I'm freaking calling ounces. It's like one right now. I say, you know what? I need a big one to move up. I, I, if I'm gonna get paid, I need a four or five pounder. So I dig out a flipping stick and a frog and go to work, hoping to get that big bite. Frog thing never happened, flipping thing never happened. Finish out the day dragging my stickster around a deep ditch out in the middle of this flat, just hoping and praying I get that big one I needed, but just never happened for me.
We, she was rocking with this. I don't know. I'm not hanging out. Okay, well, but I'll see you again, man. So right. not hey, you. Enjoy it today. Having the bag 14 pounds, two ounces today. A much better day for Mark Fisher. Fish you've seen all day. You're bleeding. And the most. And the most. I know some of these guys are really catching them, but man, I struggled. I, I haven't caught a big one since. You said you had a tough practice, and my points are actually decent this year, and so I was just trying to survive. You know, went and picked me up a little worm and caught what I could catch. What's your name? Oh, yeah, seven. We got 2005. Not going to be enough to get paid, but save your points. I was in 38th. I shouldn't drop too far. I'll probably miss a check by like five places. But you know what? After the practice and everything, I'm pumped with it. So I'm going to put it on the trailer, go home, get something to eat. So that was it, guys. That was my tournament. Um, worst tournament of the year. I've ended up finishing 69th, so kind of as predicted. I missed a check by literally five spots. I think that was what I think I just predicted. Uh, yeah, so I missed it by five spots. But hey, I only dropped two points in the AOI standing. I'm sitting in 40th, which means I'm literally on the bubble on making the Forcewood Cup. Appreciate y'all watching this. If you really liked it, give me a thumbs up. As always, please, please subscribe and keep an eye out for the next one.